Come here, buddy. Hey. I'm fine. I'm on the couch. Paw. <laughs> I have three big updates in my life. Uh, the first of which is uh, the other week I asked if I could go down to part-time at my job, essentially so I would have more time to train uh, and film and make videos and make that a bigger part of my life and hopefully uh, start to make some more money from that with more effort going into it. Um, hence why I am back to monetizing this video. Uh, I didn't monetize my last one, it felt incorrect. You know, even though this one is, is a similar subject, it has to do with, um, it has to do with my sister, it has to do with, with grieving. I am still trying to, to make a living from this and I'm taking a massive, massive pay cut at work. So, uh, that sort of leads into my second update, which is I started a Patreon, like right here. I don't really know what to offer on it yet. Uh, my thought was that's kind of where I'll put all my beats, and for five bucks a month you can just get all of my beats as I upload them. Um, you can download them, you can use them for whatever you want. I'm not going to do anything with you know rights or whatever if you want to use them in a video or just listen. Um, and I figured I guess I could also do some sort of Q&A type thing and, and video shout outs. But at the end of the day, it is just um, a place where people who want to support me can. And then the third update is I got a dog. My sister left this beautiful half Husky, half Akita. And uh, when my sister passed, I called my parents and asked if they had plans for him and uh, asked if I could take him. His name's Annie, short for Anthrax. Um, he will not be called that anymore. But, so, I have a dog now. It's the beginning of the adventures of Ari and Annie. So, I pretty much spent all of Monday and Tuesday just exercising. Uh, Monday morning I started with swim. I really need this anymore. Um, I just went to a swim practice. I completely forgot to film any of it, but I joined a, joined a group with a, uh, with a swim coach. So I'll be swimming twice a week for uh, while I'm out here. Um, that was tough, but, oh, shit, whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm not good at it, or I don't, I don't feel very good at it, um, but, you know, we'll see how I progress over the next two months. Um, and if you watch my last video, you know I'm me and my family are going through it right now. Um, but it was it was good. It's just like an hour and a half took my mind off everything for the most part, and uh, it's just flailing around in the water. So not gonna work for at least a couple days. I don't I don't really know. Um, but hopefully it warms up enough and I can bike and run and get in a good triple today. And then I biked. All right, going for this bike ride. Weather's nice. Um, hoping to just get out there, spin, and think about life, honestly. nice out here. We're up at, uh, it's like 7,000 feet. It's pretty fucking cold, but it's, it's nice to just be riding, not have to really worry about anything. Here at Cabra Coffee in Cedar Crest, got a got a burrito and a, and a spro. This is so warm and tasty. Mm. God, 
these are these burritos are really small and like kind of expensive for how big they are but like taste only maybe some of the best burritos i've ever had this bro's decent as well and then i went for a run in the evening um, and on Tuesday, pretty similar, I went for a run. There's these really dope trails, like 1K from our house. Haven't done anything the past couple days except exercise and I'm, uh, I'm gonna take custody of my sister's dog, so just figuring out logistics of that but it's been pretty peaceful just exercising alone pretty much all day yesterday and I'm gonna do the same today it's turned around this is the view. Man. Sandia's looking good today. Strava's incorrect here, but uh, I must have forgot to start my watch. And then I biked later that afternoon. Just stayed on the bike path and went pretty fast. It was actually, uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, then it gets really interesting. My best friend lives in Denver, and I called in the homie favor of the century. Jesse, in about 30 seconds, can you recount your Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday morning? You mean other than the time that we passed the event horizon on that black hole? That was Monday. Oh. Time has been fucked. Um, Tuesday, 1030 my best friend calls me and says, you gotta come down to New Mexico and then drive to LA. Where'd you drive from? Denver. How long was that drive? Six hours. And so I called you at 10.30 and you got here at? Six. That's a real one. And then 3.30 a.m. Wednesday morning, wake up after two hours of sleep. Ah. Uh, I'm out here taking the first shift, getting gas. In the middle of butt f we uh we stopped at a mac daddy's to eat you know how it is not the best making pretty good time but we're just trying to be as efficient as possible this is going to be like above a 20 hour day of driving. The second half, I'll have a dog. So, pretty fucking excited for that. Shifts, get to LA at 2 p.m. Pick up a cute pupper and a cute kitty, who apparently I'm adopting now. I uh, wish we were here under better circumstances, but we got what we came here for. This good boy Aww. and his sister, the cat. Uh, so a little bit more than I expected to bring back, but I don't know. We will figure it out. Then we decided to hit Joshua Tree National Park, which was gorgeous. Where are we headed to? We're gonna hit Joshua Tree, see if we can get there before the sunset, take the dog and the cat for a little walk and drive through the night back to ABQ. All right. Who's a good boy? Oh. All right, 
Well, got the pupper. This is beautiful. I don't know what else to say. This has been one of the emotionally hardest days of my life. But, uh, I mean, we got a whole 10 hour drive back to Albuquerque waiting ahead of us, so we won't stay here too long, but mission accomplished. We got sunrise in Arizona and sunset in Joshua Tree. And then Ari was a boss on the way back, drove the entire second 10 hour shift. one in the morning. I uh, just stopped to get a fat bag of jerky. Oh, he oh. smells it. <laughs> he smells it. Maybe I'll give you some. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Um, what do we got? Three and a half hours till we're, we're home. To we're gonna make it. We're gonna do it. One Just day. Nuts. To LA and back with two animals. Besides the last 40 minutes when he was uh, tripping balls on the road. It's 4.05 and we're about to pull up to the crib. We made it back to Albuquerque. I'm wiped. Jesse took the last 40 minutes. Um, yeah, I started seeing shit on the road, so that was about time to pull off. And then we arrived back at 4.20. 24 hours later. I'm really lucky to have a friend like him who would drive 36 hours in a 54 hour window on 90 minutes notice. Uh, he expected nothing in return, but his Venmo is at Jesse Feingold up here. Um, it's not my place to talk about Jesse's life, but like a lot of people, he's been hit hard financially by this pandemic. So send him a dollar or five or 10 or a hundred. Um, it would mean a lot to me. So. <sighs> Anyway, uh, that is how my last four days went, and uh, I'm going to get a lot more content of this guy on the channel in the future. We're going to see how fit we can get him. Just took this boy for a run. This is the most out of shape husky I've ever seen. Look at that. You're supposed to be running the Iditarod, man. 10.50 pace, that's shameful. We're going to get this dog fit as f though.